everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today i'm going to be teaching you how to protect your server from ddos attacks let's say your server is getting hit with ddos right now you want to figure out how to fix that moving forward this video is going to show you how to do that now first and foremost most minecraft server hosts have some sort of ddos protection like apex minecraft hosting who are actually going to be using today to set up this ddos protection with they have ddos protection but sometimes you want another layer of protection on top of that or you want just full control of your DDoS protection, that's what TCP Shield, who we're going to be using today, is going to use. First and foremost, though, we do have much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to set up a server using Apex Minecraft Hosting and thus be able to follow directly along with this tutorial without any issues whatsoever. So go check out Apex. They're incredible. We use them to host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com. So go check out Apex again. The first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex for a lag free server for you and your friends or for anyone the public anybody to love and enjoy so now let's go ahead and get your server ddos protected we're gonna be doing this through tcp shield there's not a lot you need to know about back ends of how this works but basically it's going to use a reverse proxy style system to be able to protect your server from ddos attacks meaning anyone who joins your server is first going to be going through tcp shield before then hitting your minecraft server that means if someone tries to ddos your server they're attacking tcp shield they're not attacking you on and your server they're attacking tcp shield servers and guess what they're set up to take ddos attacks so let's go ahead and get this started at first you want to click on this sign up button here now for you you're going to enter in by the way if once you're here you want to click on register so click sign up and then click on register you want to enter in your username your email your password all of that stuff confirm the registration and then click i am not a robot and do the captcha then click register you'll have to confirm your email so go to your email you have an email from tcp shield confirm it there and then finally you can log in doing that by the way to get to the login page click on the client area in the top right and then log in to tcp shield so in my case i've got a tcp shield account already set up that we can log right on into now when you log into tcp shield you're going to get hit with this this is their dashboard and this is very very cool so you can see your estimated usage by the way tcp shield is 100 free ddos protection they are supported through donators through this right here this is their donate system and you can go here and you can donate some huge servers use this service tcp shield specifically mind superior many people know mind superior it's a huge server and they are the top patron here they support tcp shield because it helps them out so much and guess what tcp shield gives them the top patron there but nevertheless you can come in here donate 10 25 50 75 100 200 or whatever you want per month to help keep tcp shield running it's 100 percent kind of philanthropic effort and they're actually a certified nonprofit, so it's really cool and they're basically here saying we want minecraft servers to be able to run ddos free and we're here to help them do that but nevertheless once you get here and the estimated usage, that's really cool to see how much usage you're using. The connected Minecraft version is a feature they're working on. It's not currently working, but they will get it working in the future. And then over here, you have the global network load. So they have a North American, Eastern European, Western European, and Australia server. Basically, that's where traffic is going, right? When right now, 50% of their North American servers are kind of full, right? They're being used. As time goes on, they may need to have more servers, things like that. They're prepared for that. However, at this point, you can see North American, Eastern European, Western European, and Australia are the locations they have. For example, if you had an Apex server in Australia at their Australian data center, you could protect it with TCP Shield and not have any latency in Australia, which is great. Latency is a big problem, as those of you may know if you're hosting a server in Australia. But nevertheless, we have the player count down here and active connections. We'll see once we get this set up that the player count will go up when we join in-game. So now let's go ahead and click on the manage servers over here on the left hand side. When we click on that, this is where we're actually going to be able to set our server up. So the domain is going to be our server's domain basically. So in this case, it's going to be mc.minecraftddos.com, right? So I did buy the domain minecraftddos.com right here. And I will say you will need to buy a custom domain for your server. We do have name.com linked in the description down below. That's who we use. That's what we're going to be using here. So if you want to be exactly like ours, go purchase your custom domain on name.com. It's really cheap, $8.99 for a year to get a .com domain over there and go through, get this set up because you will need to be able to manage your DNS down here, manage DNS to be able to set up this DDoS protection. You cannot set it up if you do not have a dedicated domain for your Minecraft server like minecraftdos.com, breakdowncraft.com, whatever it is. So this is going to be joinable through mc.minecraftdos.com and then the back end is going to be your server IP, which you're going to be grabbing from Apex here. Now it's very important that this doesn't get out, by the way. If you do need a new IP address because you're getting DDoS, like if you're getting DDoS right now, you need to change your IP address 
that is linked to your server to be able to stop that DDoS attack, right? That's the only way you're going to be able to stop it is to get a new IP address and then set up TCP Shield. That's something you do want to mention. You will need to get a new IP. If that's the case, go here, get a new IP. Whether it's an Apex contact and saying, hey, this is what's going on, they'll be able to help you out. Or your server host say, we're getting DDoS, we need a new IP, we're going to be setting up TCP Shield so it won't be an issue moving forward. But for right now, we need this direct IP to be changed. So anyway, go to that, go ahead, paste in your direct IP there right, like so, and then go ahead and click the plus on the right-hand side. Now, we're going to be doing this on a Spigot server, right? If you're on a Bungie cord server, you can actually come in here and link to multiple back-end Bungie cords. So, as you can see, we have mc.minecraftdos.com. We can do a comma space and put in another back-end server right there, and guess what? It's going to load balance between those two servers automatically. No more fancy Cloudflare stuff or anything. It does it for you at TCP Shield. Anyway, go ahead and click that check mark. Then we can click next down here in the bottom, right? That's going to take us off to, after we click next, where we need to download the TCP Shield plugins. You can either download it for Spigot or Bungie. If you click on Spigot there, it's going to take you here where you can click on this TCP Shield dot jar to go ahead and start the download in the bottom left. Now, I've already actually got TCP Shield installed on this server right here, right? It's already ready to go. Now, one thing you will need on Spigot that you will not need on a Bungie cord server is protocol lib. You will need protocol lib on your bucket, spigot, or paper servers, but you will not need it on a Bungie server. So if you're setting up TCP Shield on Bungie, just ignore that, install the TCP Shield plugin, and you're done. If you're on Spigot, though, or any fork of Spigot, bucket, paper, anything like that, you will need Protocol Lib, which is linked in the description down below. Download it, install it on your server. This is a tutorial on installing plugins. I'm guessing if you're looking for DDoS protection, you know how to install plugins on a server. So anyway, once you've downloaded and installed the TCP Shield plugin, restart your server, and then click on Next here. Now it's time to point the domain. So what we want to do is copy this right here under point two C name. We want to copy that. Then we want to come back over here to name.com and we want to click on this manage DNS here, right? When we click on that, it's going to take us here where we can manage our DNS. Now, if you have your server already set up with a domain, you want to delete everything to do with that domain. So that's going to be all your A records, all your SRV records, anything to do with like play dot whatever your domain is, or even if you're using your domain directly, delete any A records that are linked to your Minecraft server and delete any SRV records that are linked to your Minecraft server. Then you want to come in here and add a new DNS to your, you know, new DNS record here. The type is going to be CNAME. The host is going to be whatever you want your subdomain to be. So mc.minecraftdos.com in this case, or play.breakdowncraft.com. So in this case, it'll be MC. If we were doing breakdowncraft, it would be play. If you were doing Hypixel, it would be like MC, I think is what theirs is, or EU if you're doing a European server. So whatever you want that before the domain to be, that's what's going to be there. And then the answer is going to be what we copied back on TCP Shield. So in our case, it'd be minecraftddos.ipv4.tcpshield.com. Yours is probably going to be whatever your server name is, .ipv4.tcpshield.com. For town to live or TTL, make that as low as you can. 300 is the lowest I can do it. For priority, if you can set a priority, mark it as the highest. However, if you can't, just leave it in a, shouldn't be able to set a priority usually for a C name. So don't worry about that. Now let's go ahead and click add record here. And now at this point, it's kind of a waiting game. TCP or DNS, excuse me, DNS can take up to 300 minutes there to roll out. I believe that's in minutes. I don't know for sure, but it takes a while. For example, when we did this on Breakdown Craft, it took four hours for it to globally roll out and set everything up globally. So right now, if you try to join your server, it's not going to work. But when it does work, it's going to be able to, you know, actually connect. For example, we come in here right now and we take our IP, which is going to be mcddos mc.minecraftdos.com and we direct connect to it right like so it's going to join server and it's probably not going to work it's going to time oh it actually did work awesome so that means it rolled out instantly it propagated that dns right away and we'll be able to verify that by going over here into our multicraft panel or excuse me into our tcp shield panel and then clicking on dashboard and we'll be able to see boom one player is on the server now that's awesome so we have one player on the server that's going to be my alt here we go ahead and disconnect and then we come back over here to tcp shield and refresh we will see that that will pop off here in just a minute and it will say that there are no players connected to the server i believe i forget if it always says one or, or no players after one player is joined because i mean it, it's been a while like we never have zero players on breakdown craft not bragging it's just a fact and so because of that i don't know what it exactly says when there's zero players online i'm gonna let this sit for a minute or two and then we'll see what happens it doesn't seem like this is dropping to zero but it is really really cool to see this go up and down with your player numbers and things like that anyone who is connected to your server will be connected to that by the way if we go ahead and add in our server for example if we were to do 
MC or .minecraftdos.com there. It would pop up here. We can see all of that is there. Message of the day works. All of that works. And actually, Breakdown Craft is ran through TCP Shield. So we join there. It's going to let us right on in. Now, if we come over to Multicraft, I just want to confirm. We can go into console here. There will be some blacked out here, for example. Whenever we come in here, we will be able to see that the IP address right there is blacked out on both of these, all three of these, actually. There are three blacked out IP addresses here. That's because that's my public IP. Don't want you getting that. So there's a black box right here over this area. But we can see that Nick King has joined the game and left the game there. So that is showing us that we are joining our server through that custom domain, set up through name.com, and set up through everything. So sure, the IP, my IPs were blacked out there at the bottom, but no big deal. We can refresh here and be able to see we still have one player online. It never dropped to zero, but my guess is that it's going to if you just let it sit there for a minute. But overall, no big deal. Let's go ahead and actually maybe bring on my main account because my alt is online there right now. If we bring on my main account, we can actually make it go up. That's a similar thing, right? Showing you that it is tracking player count as live as it can um, to make sure things are up and running. It's helped us in the past whenever we've had issues like a server goes down. You can see that server go down on this and get almost to uh, pretty accurate, you know, within a minute or two, the representation of when that server went down to go look at any errors or any issues that may have come up. So that's very, very helpful and something that we do like to use at Breakdown Craft. But anyway, let's go ahead and direct connect in here to the server, gonna be the same thing, boom, joining in, there is my alt, so we are both on this server. We can actually do slash PL, because I am opt on this server, and see TCP Shield is enabled, and protocol lib, showing that we are up and running, and we are working. One thing I will do here, here in a second, is try to join via direct IP, and show you what that does. So let's go ahead and refresh here, and we should be able to see, there it goes, it goes up to two players there. Now connections per second is people pinging your server, that is going to be like the Minecraft server list, right? So if we come back out here on the Minecraft server list, that's what that's going to be. So yeah, there you have it. That's how you can do that. And let's show you real quick. If we try to join our server via this direct IP address, it's not going to work, right? And that's because now your server is working through TCP Shield and that's it, right? It's going to sit here for a second. It's going to act like it's connecting, yada, 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 boom, disconnected. The only way to join your server is through your domain name, which in this case is mc.minecraftdos. Com. There you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And I'm actually redirecting minecraftddos.com to TCP Shield. We didn't want anybody nefarious getting that domain, and we went ahead and picked it up because why not? So there you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy TCP Shield. Enjoy your DDoS protection on your Minecraft server. It is great. But anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.